Hey guys, this video will look at how the RBA can simply announce a change to the car target cash rate, which would then flow on to the overnight money market. So we've talked about how the RBA can conduct open market operations in order to change the money supply in the economy. So with us, our lecture that we focus on how the money supply is being manipulated by the RBA and therefore that would change the prevailing levels of interest on the overnight money market, which is also known as the cash rate. But we haven't talked about how demand can be manipulated by the RBA, which would then cause, again, a similar change in the overnight money market's cash rate. So we talked about how the RBA implements monetary policy via the cash rate because they're the sole control of the monopoly supplier of cash in the economy. And so therefore they can choose the amount of cash or the amount of money supply in the economy in order to manipulate uh, prevailing levels of interest. But what we're going to look at in this video is how they could simply announce a change to the target cash rate, which would manipulate the demand for cash at every level of supply. Okay, so as we know, the first step behind every um, implementation of monetary policy is on the Tuesday of every month. On the first Tuesday of every month, the RBA or the board gathers and they talk about the economic conditions and they talk about whether they should increase, decrease or keep the cash rate as it is. So what they do there is they can either announce an expansionary monetary policy stance, contractionary or neutral stance. So for the purposes of this lecture, we're going to look at a contractionary monetary policy stance. And this is done by simply announcing an increase to the target cash rate. And what they do first is then they change the, the rate of interest paid on the exchange settlement accounts. So we're going to look at, so when they announce a rise in the target cash rate, say by 25 basis points or 0.25%. This means that the RBA would pay an increase of 25 basis points on the exchange settlement accounts of financial institutions. So ESAs will pay 25 basis points higher. And as we know, due to the law of supply of money, when the price or the cost of credit increases, so interest rate and the quantity, when the, the price paid on the supplying or to deposit money in the ESA account actually increase, the interest rate has increased from I1 to I2, we can see as a result, unsurprisingly, the quantity deposited in these ESA accounts by banks have actually increased from Q1 to Q2. So let's assume NAB. NAB has $100 to lend. It needs $20 to keep it needs to keep $20 in their ESA accounts to maintain liquidity for the next financial day. It has $80 to lend in the overnight money market. But now given that the ESAs will now pay a higher 25 basis points on what it was before, then NAB has an incentive of lending or to deposit a greater amount in their ESAs. And this means they have less to lend in the overnight money market. So for this example, they've increased their deposits from $20 to $30 and therefore their money to lend in the overnight money market has decreased from $80 to $70. Okay. So we're going to look at is how this would actually change prevailing levels of cash rate using supply and demand analysis. I'm just going to put this in the middle here, right here. And so this, the y-axis being the actual cash rate, the actual cash rate is how much interest is being paid on securities traded over the overnight money market. And the 
x-axis being the monetary base. And as we know, the monetary base is what the RBA controls through open market operations, and this is the same as MB, is the same as currency, CU, plus reserves, R. So that's the monetary base at the moment. Okay, so now, assuming that the supply of money is controlled by the RBA, we can say that the supply is an actual upward sloping, it is in fact a vertical line, because the supply of money, or the monetary base in this case, MBS, is the same throughout the course of the business state, because the RBA controls the amount of money available. The, money, the amount of money, money available doesn't actually increase as the target rate increases because the RBA controls the amount of money available. So the supply is controlled independent of the changes to the cash rate. Now the demand for uh, the demand for securities or money by commercial banks in order to meet their financial obligations of the next day is downward sloping. And this is demand as is demand for any market economic factor. Demand is a negative function because as the cash rate decreases, the demand for money actually increases by the commercial banks. So now that the RBA has announced this higher overnight or higher target overnight money market rate, the banks also wish to lend more in the overnight money and hold less in their exchange settlement account deposits. And so what this means is that the the, um, the demand for cash in the overnight money market has actually increased because assuming that the, these banks have actually deposited more in this, these ESA accounts, that means they have less to lend in the overnight money market. And so those banks who actually wish to borrow money in the overnight money market, they're actually going to demand more or they have a, they're going to demand uh, money at a higher cost than it was before. So at every level of money here, they're going to demand a higher level of interest because of this shortage in money supply. It's because they're now in excess of exchange account, exchange settlement account deposits relative to money traded in the um, overnight money market than those who are actually those banks who actually need who need to borrow actually offer a higher rate of interest to the actual than the previous equilibrium rate at I zero. They're gonna offer a higher rate of interest because they actually wish to borrow and because there are less funds available since those ESAs or those um commercial banks who don't need to lend over, over the overnight money market have actually deposited more in their exchange settlement accounts. So there is less money available in the um, in the overnight money market and so the demand curve for the monetary base has increased because the demand to hold exchange settlement deposits has increased due to this increase in the target cash rate here. So what happens is that the actual interest rate increases from I0 to I1. And so as a result, the RBA has actually conducted contractionary monetary policy by announcing an increase in the target cash rate, which, is, which was then reflected here by this increase in the actual cash rate in the overnight money market because of these banks who wish to, to borrow from the overnight money market and now they're borrowing at a higher rate of interest at every level of money. So that's how the RBA can simply announce a change to the target cash rate which would then result in a change in the actual cash rate as traded in the overnight money market.